And that's what we were able to learn. As of now, no significant force within the Empire is publicly opposing Dukes Aldrich. However, once word of his activities gets out, I have faith opposition will emerge. I knew that fiend's slimy grin hid terrible secrets, but weaponizing lenses is a horror. And we now know there was more to the Norsefarian purchase than simply securing a foothold for invasion. I'm sorry to ask you, Luke, but your family? My parents didn't make it. That damnable cur! Sacrificing human lives to unlock the power of the rune lenses. It's totally unforgivable! <sighs> Yelu, look! Paul wanted to come through for the little guy, so we put our heads together and voila! What do you think? Pretty fierce, yeah? Nobody's gonna hurt you ever again, now that I've got this. From what I'm hearing, it doesn't sound as if our military victory has dulled Aldrich's ambitions. His next move is coming. We can count on it. Another move on the League once he consolidates power within the Empire, perhaps? No. He's after something more. Especially considering what he did to Yelu's people. So what's the plan? I'll continue gathering intelligence. Otherwise, we grow our strength. That's the one thing we can control. Sure feels like this crap's gonna get worse before it gets better. Aw, oh, what's the matter, kiddo? Talk to your boss. I'm a fountain of sage advice, after all. Oh, wait, no. I already got it. You need a belly full of grub and a good night's sleep. <laughs> yep, that's the ticket, all right. Not the worst advice I've ever heard. Take a day for yourself, Noah. Go back to your quarters and rest. Because tomorrow... That snout of yours is going right back to the grindstone. <laughs> we'll be facing the Empire in earnest now.
Oh, hey, Leon. Okay, there's clearly something wrong, so spit it out. Just a lack of confidence, I guess. Periel roped me into being commander, but I'm not sure I'm the right person for the job. Guess her ladyship did sort of sucker you into this, huh? You think so too? Look, let me ask you something. How did you feel about those things Sane and Yaley told us today? They made me sick. And furious. And how about what happened to your home? I'll never let anything like that happen again, obviously. Okay, so isn't that enough? You're a man of pure, honest, emotional reactions, which is why her ladyship tapped you to be the big cheese. For what it's worth, I... Well, I know you giving it your all will help me rise to the occasion, too. You mean it? Of course she means it. No one's asking you to change. All you have to do is keep being yourself. Yelu. I'm sorry I wasn't able to save your parents. Don't be. We were strangers to you. You owed us nothing. Stand completely if you feel differently. I still believe good yet remains in the Empire. So I continue to fight for my homeland even if it means betraying it. So... Well, I guess I needed to prove I was right. Sounds so selfish to you. Uh, no. Your reason doesn't change your actions. It doesn't change what you did for us. How soon before the Dukes makes his move, would you say? Not long. I fear the intelligence we've received paints a most distressing picture. The upcoming fight will be uh, difficult. How would you handle it? Run to the edge of the world and dig a very deep hole. Because I fear that's exactly how far I'd have to go to stay out of the Dukes' reach. 
So what's stopping you? I don't own a shovel. Therefore, I have decided to undertake the next best option. Defeating him. <laughs> you certainly don't lack for confidence. I was under the impression you'd arrived at the same decision. Of course. I've a promise to deliver on, after all. Pretty sure their castle's just ahead. Then let's pay him a visit. Puffle Bay! Sawad never breaks his word. There you are. Something wrong? You might say that. You should come to the Great Hall. Good to see you in one piece. Likewise. But what are you doing here? The Empire is on the move again. Pooby poo! Their sights are apparently no longer set on you, Chris, but on Norrister to its west. 
Norister is, of course, one of the League of Nations' three major powers, along with Eucris and Kinan. The Dukes isn't even trying to conceal his designs on the League anymore. Which means whatever he does next won't be subtle. Although Norrister's only part of the problem, we've caught wind of another threat, but don't yet know the scope of it. Oh, and the Empire has also been pursuing the Room Barrows with renewed ferocity. Well, that's a mess. Still, it sounds to me like our first priority is getting to Norrister. I agree. I'm hearing all sorts of things from my sources, so we should determine what's happening there for ourselves. I shall return to you, Chris, for negotiations. If Yuma gets cold feet again, someone must be there to hold them to the fire. We could send the expedition with you. You, Chris, is along the way. Actually, the Guardians can offer a better route. There's a high road through the Great Wood that'll get you to Nordstar much faster. Plus, sticking to the forest will make it easier to escape pursuers or ensnare them. No one knows those woods better than me. In that case, lead the way. Happy to. You don't got a thing to worry about, mate. will be going with you. Follow me! Continue the fight, Noah! Set. To reach the Guardian High Road, we'll head south to the bridge, then double back north after we cross. There's a secret entrance to the forest there. Good luck, Noah. I shall see you anon in Norrister. I have literally 
literally never failed at this. Now what? Is this the place? Yep. The Eldroad's just ahead, which will take us to my village, Yarnan. Nordstar's just a short hop from there. The Eldroad? That's right. The Guardians have a sworn duty to protect everything beneath these trees, and the Rune Barrows especially. People say the Eldroad is actually a part of those ruins. However, we mostly use it now to monitor and defend key sites throughout the forest. It's a handy way to get around. Still, there are plenty of monsters hanging around, so stay on your toes. Sounds good. Now let's hurry and put a stop to whatever the Empire's up to. Agreed. They've done enough harm already. Now this part I'm good at. Here's a little guardian arcana. Ah! Yeah -ha! Sword! to grow. Not good. Did it see us? What was that? A dragon youngling. We're trespassing on its territory. Youngling? But it was huge. Yeah, well, dragon. Trifle with any of their kind, and it's the last thing you do. Oh, 
Nice of you to mention that, because here it comes. I just hate resorting to violence.
you can count on me. Let me heal you. Hey, you won. In your hands.
Right oh, you won. Even I'm a little impressed. Do this. Resorting to violence.
hurt me! Sword! Think I'll end it here. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> the reward for... soon. Come on. So, this is your village, huh? Identity confirmed. Marissa. And Guru! Boy, are we glad to see... <sighs> is something wrong? are back, and this time they're trying to get into the village. They're coming after your nun? Who be? Is this that other threat you mentioned? Could be. Hard to imagine those bone walkers working with the Empire, but the timing sure is suspect. So where are they now? South of the village common. Okay, I gotta run on ahead. As will I. Marissa, I know you have only just returned, but we could use you there. I won't let those revenant monsters destroy my home. Let's get over there, Noah. Right behind you. To tell me how they got this far? What are our scouts doing? <laughs> Only a fool would think to stand in my way, which explains why you are here. But you humans are always so annoyingly defiant. Yeah, strong words coming from a walking xylophone. I'm surprised you're even capable of speech. <laughs> you stand in the awesome presence of Marcus, 
King of the Revenants. Prostrate yourself before me, and I will grant you service in my eternal thrall. It is a great honor. Uh, prostrate ourselves? Why would we do that? <laughs> After 300 years of life, or is it death? Regardless, it comes as no surprise to the great Marcus that you humans are incapable of comprehending my wisdom. So let me simplify it for your feeble minds. <clears throat> Surrender to me. Give up. Cry and mew. Elsewise, my revenant army will descend upon this land like flies on a fresh corpse. Yield your lives to me. You know what? I don't think I like this guy's tone. Are these the invaders? You stand in awe of Marcus, King of the Revenants. We what now? So you're what? A living corpse? I am no mere corpse. You stand in awe of the Skeleton King himself. The Master of Death. And that's supposed to scare us into surrendering? It seems you cannot fathom the benevolence I am extending. Perhaps... Um, guys? What's he doing? Hey, stop that! Uh-oh. Stop! Now this part I'm good at.
okay? Thank hey, you so one. much. Muscle strike smash! Boys are tough. Never drop your guard around these ruffians. Never. How sad you cannot recognize such a pure act of mercy. Why do you persist in defying me? Time remains to you, but precious little. Collect your wits and reconsider my offer. Reconsider? Threaten us all you want, but I'll never let you take my home from me. Shall meet again. <laughs> ga, 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 ga. Okay, I really don't like that guy. I never dared get this close before. Okay, what was all that about? He appeared to be demanding our surrender. Was that the mysterious other threat I heard about? We've been getting reports about packs of revenants, so... Yep, probably is. Don't know why he'd march in here with such small numbers, though. Eh, chalk it up to overconfidence, maybe. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure that's all it is. Nothing more sinister afoot. Well, our duty is clear either way. Nice fighting, Marissa. And you. You're the resistance leader, right? Knew it the moment I laid eyes on you. Marissa said you had a certain look. Just know she's like a kid sister to me, so you better treat her with respect. We clear? Uh, wave, shut up! Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> anyway, moving on. The name's Wave, and I lead the Guardian's response team. We gotta report this to the Grand Warden, but I'm sure he'll also want to hear from Noah. So how about you all tag along? It's a pleasure to see you again, Noah. I'll go on ahead. Please, come tell me what happened when your task is completed, Marissa. Uh, sorry about Wave's whole protective brother shtick. Is he really your brother? Wave? Nah. He's not that much older than us. So, Captain or no, it just feels like we're family. We should head over to the Grand Warden's place. Wouldn't mind grabbing a bite, either. Thank you. 
And so his sinewed flesh was but the hilt, his blade the robust mind that sinew built. Ah, the words ring true. It is a nice poem. Ah, the boy speaks my language then. We shall get along fine. I, I am Goldsmith, a humble steerin who seeks to perfect his body while serenading his mind. I'm Noah. Um, I couldn't help but notice... You like to travel heavy, don't you? Oh, I must, as I visit many lands and must be ready to make camp. Whether I to peak or valley go, this body is my sole conveyance. No wonder, you're built like a mountain. Ha! Am I? Such a honeyed compliment I must repay with a merry rhyme. The reed that never bends, good fortune shall attend. My words to live by, if you will. In any journey, there is hardship, but stand strong, and you will be rewarded. This time, my reward was a local delicacy. <laughs> but enough of me. What brings you here? Actually, I'm looking for stalwart allies. I see. This explains the dire mood hanging over the world. Yes. And I've been scouring the world for people to help me stop it. Can I count on you, Goldsmith? I see no reason to decline. Great! Then should we... But I see no reason to assent. Why say we decide this with a test of fortitude? If you display sufficient strength, I shall go with you. Is strength that important? And so his sinewed flesh was but the hilt, his blade the robust mind that sinew built. Strength begets spirit, boy. Bring me a comrade whose strength is greater than mine. Mind you, a burly body is not built in a day, but take the time you need. I believe I will remain here a spell. But wait, hold, hold. Let me take a- P Pretty impressive, right? You did it, Noah! You showed incredible determination. So you'll join us? His passion stirred the steerin's blood. Brave Noah, meet your brand new stud. 
I journey with you now, boy. Gosh dang, you are a hot helping of beef. <laughs> the steerin take pride in their supple sinew. My power is yours. Well met, Commander Noah of the Alliance. Wave has explained the situation. Noah got dragged into trouble the moment he arrived. But he proved himself a capable warrior. I understand you've seen signs of Imperial movement. Yeah. So to explain, we Guardians have a duty to protect the area of the Great Wood and the Rune Barrows there. And part of that overlaps with the Norsefarian territory the League recently handed over to the Empire. That's how one of our patrols saw the Imperial Army amassing troops there. Which was all before the Revenants came along. The Elves sent a warning as well. They saw a group outside the area of operations, searching for... Well, we're not sure what exactly. Leave it to Lakian to bring that information to Lilowen instead of me. Doesn't he trust me at all? It did come to you. You chose not to read it. That group sounds like the one that attacked Yelu's village. Y yes perhaps. Yes, I heard something about that. But it was outside of our sphere of operations. Sorry all the same. This series of suspicious events was why we sent Marissa and Guru as envoys. If the Empire launches a full-fledged attack, even the combined forces of the Guardians and Norrister won't be enough to stop them. We'll need the strength of the whole League. Never knew you had it in you to look at the big picture, mate. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm still all about living the easy life. But if you want to earn a life free of worry, it's going to take some thinking. And maybe even some... F so where do we come in? You should go to the Norris Starry capital of Atherabolt and seek an audience with their king, Salas Bailrund. Simply exit through the West Gate and travel southwest. I've already informed them we'll be sending emissaries. Noah from the Alliance, Marissa to represent the Guardians, and Alwi for the Elves. You're really putting an effort here. Hey, when push comes to shove, wave comes to punching in the face. <laughs> That's why you love me. B. Oh, and I'd like Nil to go too. Consider yourself Marissa's chaperone. Are you certain I am adequate for this task? It certainly wouldn't hurt for you to see more of the outside world. Heck, might even refresh a memory or two. Thank you very much, Wave. It will be my great honor to accompany you, Marissa. Uh, enough with the formality. We're friends, remember? Yes, of course. 
My most sincere and humble apolo- Ugh. You're not going, Wayne? Nah. Marissa's young, but she's a guardian warrior. They'll respect that. Besides, I got that whole Revenant army thing to deal with. Not to mention a gaggle of Imperials in my backyard. Oh, that's quite the list. I think I'll hang back and give you a hang. I am here to assist, Noah. I'm all yours, bestie. I hope your journey to North Star will prove a fruitful one. Thank you, Grand Warden. Come on, Noah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs>